We're late, we're late, we're late for the 12 vloggers of Christmas. Bonjour à tous, my name is Nicholas and I'm a happy vlogger, I'm a happy teacher. I'm so proud to be part of this collaboration between the best teacher tubers. Some of them are really famous, no kidding, like 5 or 10 thousand subscribers. Impressive, right? We've got Cafu Poland, Senior S Spanish Spot, Darren Nakakiara, Sarah at Home, Kyle and Nicole, Genuine Teaching, Cha Cha Cakes, Kyle and Christine Thane, That One Happy Classroom, and Too Cool for Middle School. Please subscribe to their channels if you haven't already. But I'm sure you have. If you know my channel, you know theirs for sure. So, we're supposed to talk about our Christmas traditions. Mine were really simple. On the 24th of December, the whole family came to my parents' house. We ate oysters, foie gras, turkey stuffed with chestnuts, une bûche de Noël, a Christmas log. A Christmas log can be like a frozen cake in the shape of a log or uh, another cake with a crème pâtissière inside. Yum. By midnight, someone knocked at the window. Someone? Santa Claus, of course. Mm. So we had to hide until all the gifts were put under the Christmas tree. Moving to Provence, I discovered other Christmas traditions. The one I want to talk about is the 13 desserts of Christmas. So we eat a lot. The supper can last for three to five or six hours. Yep. And when you were a kid, it's pretty long and bearably long. The big supper ends with a ritual 13 desserts representing Jesus Christ and his 12 apostles. Les apôtres on dit en français. The number 13 also refers to the zip code of an area in Provence. Uh, the magic of Christmas. The food is traditionally set out on Christmas Eve and remains on the table three days until the 27th of December. Here are some examples of what we can eat. Dried fruit and nuts, raisins, figs, almonds, fresh fruits, apples, pears, tangerines, sweets, calisson d'ex, pompe à huile, oreillettes, pain d'épices. These are typical French sweets from Provence and I don't want to translate their names. You just have to know that they are all freaking good. Well, I guess that's it. I'm so sorry I was late. If you haven't already, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what are your Christmas traditions. See you next time for more French teaching fun. A bientôt. Et joyeux Noël.